Hey everyone, Odd here. Just wanted to give you all a quick update on what's going on around the world. Bible prophecy unfolding before our very eyes, folks. Um, this is uh, intensifying. Um, Israel has just given its military uh, three days notice to prepare for war. Um, of course, we know in Bible prophecy, Israel is the center for Armageddon for the end times for everything that we need to be paying attention to and Israel is decimating Hamas right now with airstrikes and this all comes on the heels of Russian President Vladimir Putin speaking about his new cruise missile that he just tested it's a nuclear powered missile mind you and this missile has the capability of flying for ever pretty much i mean this thing can stay in the sky and fly around for long 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 durations of time and it's maneuverable they can move it wherever they want and it's hard for our current missile defense systems like the thad and other things or the iron dome for instance to even penetrate this missile of course putin keeps saying if he's new I don't know what's going on, folks, but I do know that as history has shown us in the movie The Terminator, for instance, that these missiles were utilized and um, also other movies that gave us hints like uh, um, that movie about uh, where the Nazis had taken um, control of a uh, old Israeli nuclear weapon and detonated it in Baltimore and had Russia and America about to destroy each other. Now, I find it funny because just all of these things that correlate to this, um, back to Bible prophecy, the Euphrates River is dried up. And the Bible says that when the Euphrates River dries up, for the kings of the east might be prepared. So the kings of the east are preparing themselves to make their move. And, of course, the kings of the north. Or the king of the north, the prophesied prince of Rush, spoken of in Ezekiel chapter 38 about the prophesied war of Gog and Magog. Now, we do know that Israel is going to be attacked. Now, Biden has given um, Israel the green light to attack Iran. And this is something that's been hush hush and under radar. Um, on the mainstream, but it was on the mainstream about a month and a half ago, if you remember. And I remember saying to myself, if something happens, then it's over because Israel's going to attack Iran. Iran's going to attack Israel. This is going to pull China into the mix and China's going to go after Taiwan and just all the cookies are going to start to crumble. The pressure cooker is about to pop. Um, Everybody is about to go to war. This is World War III. Um, World War III, as we know it, uh, with nuclear weapons, is about to begin soon, probably within the next month and a half or two. But I'd say that we are already in the midst of a current world war. And it's only going to grow worse and worse as greedy, selfish men continue to try to perpetuate their power down our throats and seize control of this world. They know America's weak. They see us limping. And like dogs in a pack or wolves, when the alpha male is weak, first they test that alpha. They nip at his heels and they bite at his legs until eventually they grab him by the neck and they kill him to take control of the pack. See, the thing is, America's weak. We have a president that's walking into walls, doesn't know what he's doing, probably has his diaper changed at night. He doesn't even know he's president. You know, we have senators like Mitch McConnell that are asked the question, doesn't even know where he's at. You know, senators like Dianne Feinstein, who just recently passed away, who just stepped down not long ago. These people are literally on death's door not knowing what the heck they're doing, and they're in control of the world's largest military. And I hate to say this, folks, 
The military industrial complex is making a killing right now in Ukraine. But at what cost? Is it really worth the cost of the, the complete annihilation of our planet? Is there any money to be made then? When these EMPs go off and all electronics are severed, are their robotics going to really be able to maintain their utopia? The things that they had had planned for decades to get rid of us useless eaters. This has got the devil written all over it, folks. We are living in the times of the end. And after this war, those in whom are left that are not bombarded by the curse of Zechariah chapter 14 that speaks about how the curse shall be on the man as well as on the cattle and on the sheep and on the oxes the same. For their skin shall fall off of them while they stand on their feet. Their tongue shall cleave to the roofs of their mouths and their eyes shall dissolve in their sockets. Radiation poisoning, my friends. Nuclear war. Judgment by fire. By weapons we've created by those who are given these designs and knowledge from outer demons of darkness. These beings that we today call aliens are not extraterrestrials, but are extra-dimensional beings. We need to be prepared, folks, and pay attention to what is going on around us. Understand that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is speaking to us, guiding us, trying to show us and prepare us for what is to come. And I do know that when it happens, I want to be next to those I love. Gather together, having a Thanksgiving Day dinner. There's already been over a thousand Israelis that have been slaughtered by Hamas terrorists. But there's good news. We do know that God is going to smite down all of the arrows, as is said in Ezekiel chapter 38, that are fired against Israel. And this is going to be a sign to the world. And for seven months, they will be burying the bodies in a place called Haman Gog. And for seven years, they'll be burning the weapons, the shields, and the bucklers. So in that seven-year time frame, a lot of people believe is going to be the Great Tribulation or the Tribulation, which is when there will be no more war. And then the nations of the world will, some people will see God and others will follow the Antichrist. And in that time frame, they will receive a mark. There will be no more war. It will be a time of fake peace and a utopian nightmare, an Orwellian nightmare, where everyone is going to have to take a mark to be able to buy, trade, or sell, or eat. Now, all I can say, folks, is that we need to pray, and we need to pray hard. There's nothing we can do to stop the oncoming onslaught because it is written in the Bible. So for what God has spoken, it shall be done. So we know that there is no way we could ever stop the beast system. It was always meant to be. There is no way we could ever stop the inevitable because God spoke it into existence because this is what has been planned. Unfortunately, the world is in chaos. Like the Bible says, what's up will become down, what's down will become up. So if you look at the world today, people can't even identify who they are. There's so much chaos and confusion, and the author of confusion is Satan himself. This is a divisionary tactic to confuse the intellectual mind. Because without definition, then there is no meaning. And without meaning, there is no hope. 
We define everything that we see. It is in our logic and nature as human beings. All life identifies to the things that they see and they know. Dogs understand the things that are around them. They know their owners. We understand that a couch is a couch or a car is a car. A car is not a truck and a tree is not a house. You can't just destroy definition and change it into what you want it to be. Because if there is no order, then there is chaos. And they'll use this chaos to create order. Chaos theory. So remember, folks, be on guard, pay attention, hold your loved ones close. And as I said before, prepare, prepare, prepare. Just have plans in place, bug out bags, whatever. Mainly all I can say is, is carnally speaking, you can do that. But spiritually speaking is the more important thing. You need to be ready and be at one with our Father in heaven. All I can say is if you do not know Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the time is now to be ready and prepare yourselves to meet your maker. I pray for all of you, and I pray that God blesses you with understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. And remember, if you read the book of Proverbs, if you want to find wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, seek him, and you'll find these things. I love you guys. God bless you guys. And in Jesus' name, I pray for all of you. And I'll see you all on the next one.